Now let's look at partial scalar invariance at the factor level. You may recall from our original measurement invariance video that we did not achieve full scalar invariance. So we should explore it at the factor level. Now we've learned from our metric invariance test that participation is a bit of a problem, particularly participation three. With scalar invariance, we want to look at the intercepts. So first let's get a fully unconstrained model by commenting out these intercept definitions. We save, we run, model fit, chi-square, 233701 and 102. This is going to be our baseline model. Baseline here, 102 is correct. Let's go back. And now let's uncomment the constraints for the intercepts for the part or participation latent factor. This line right here defines the intercepts and these parenthetical values label those intercepts. By labeling them and saying that we have groups, we're constraining them to be equal across groups. So let's go ahead and run this and see if the model fit is substantially worse. Save and run. Model fit, chi-square value 264 and degrees of freedom 106. And the answer is that there is a big difference when it comes to participation. The results here show that these two models, the fully unconstrained model and the model in which we constrain the intercepts to be equal for the participation latent factor, are not the same. They are different. And so we know that it is the participation factor that is causing the problem. Now what if we looked at the other factors just as a comparison? So let me re-comment the participation factor and let's uncomment the CR factor, just to see if there really is no difference in model fit when we're looking at the CR intercepts. Save this, run it, model fit, chi-square, 264, 432. Hmm, looks like it's pretty different for those as well. Well, let's try it for feedback. Recomment, uncomment, save and run. Model fit, chi-square, 252, this is going to be better. Not a lot better, but it is better. So what have we learned? We've learned that the intercepts are different between these two groups. And it's not just partial, it's due to all three of these factors. So we cannot claim even partial scalar invariance.